it's Sarah. And, well, if you've been following me on my social media, specifically on Instagram, you would know that I am doing a mukbang challenge. Or a mukbang. I'm not even sure if I pronounced that right. But, here's the thing. I wanted... I didn't really want to eat junk food in front of all of you and to be quite honest, I have been obsessed with cooking a lot at home. So I decided why don't make a home cooked mukbang but featuring superfoods. So that means all of the healthy, healthy food that you guys might be intimidated by but shouldn't be because they actually taste really, really good. So I haven't tasted any of this because well, wala lang. Gusto ko, gusto ko gutumin sa hindi ko para when I eat everything, mauubos ko. I don't like anything going to waste. So, let's dig it. First up, we have the sweet potato rice right here. Um, so, what I did here was pretty simple. First, I boiled it because it was too hard and then I skinned it off a bit but then after I googled it, if you can eat the skin of the sweet potato, you can. So I decided to keep it on. I just scraped off any dirty particles or dirt. Yung mga may pan color brown on the sweet potato. That was yun. I baked it in the oven and mixed the spices. So, there goes nothing. Parang ano, hindi siya crispy. So, wait, I, let's Google what sweet potato is good for. My gosh, I'm so filling. Sweet potatoes. Half of a large baked potato, so this is it, delivers more than 450% of your daily dose of vitamin A, which protects your vision and immune system. Vitamin A, I didn't know that, but I do know sweet potato is good for fiber, it's high in fiber, and for some reason, bodybuilders always just seem to go for a sweet potato as opposed to regular potato. I never understood why. This is huge. It's bigger than my face. Exactly. It's not bad. So I feel like I wish I could make it like crispier. If I was very serious about, you know, finishing my sweet potatoes, I would just eat this while watching a movie because it's not, it's not bad at all. Like, it doesn't, it's not dry in your mouth and it doesn't stay in your mouth. Um, pero ang dami. At saka may ano bang kakainin. So, mamaya niyan. Um, I also made some milk tea. So, I, sobrang dali gumawa ng milk tea, guys. Hindi ko na realize. Ngayon ko na realize. Ang saya. So what I did is basically just black tea, like I boiled water, put in some black tea, and then while the black tea was boiling already, like when it comes to a boil, you pour in your milk. And for me, I chose soy milk because apparently that's a lot better for you because plant protein. And that's it. For the pearls, I just got regular store-bought store -bought tapioca pearls. So there. Um, apparently, soy milk and black tea are both superfoods. So let's Google what they're good for. Black tea prevents the hardening of the arteries, according to researchers at the University of Scranton. Okay, I don't think my arteries are in any danger, but that's good to know. And as for soy milk, a good source of vegetable protein, that's why I said a while ago, Calcium and rich soy milk has, a, has as much calcium and vitamin D as cow's milk. Oh, okay, so it's just as good as cow's milk then. Why not then? Let me switch to soy milk. So good! Ako yung egg and na walang straw. Kasi ayaw ko gumamit ng plastic straw. 
Pero ayoko din bumili ng metal straw. <laughs> okay, what's up? Next, let's have... Oh, some spring rolls! Avocado spring rolls. Okay, for this one, this is pretty easy. Wala akong niluto at all. Um, this, uh, these are all fresh vegetables and avocado and the uh, rice paper wrap. So, let's taste it if it's good. I hope it's good. Because if it's not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. And I made some homemade butter sauce. So, let's test it out. Kasi sa kala ko, hindi siya magiging ganun kasarap. Kasi sanay ako sa shrimp. Spring roll. But this is not bad at all! This is so good! Avocado over shrimp. Yes! And then, I'm very generous with the sauce kasi ang gano'n kong nagawa. Want that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is not bad at all. I swear, I'm syrup nya. It's just as good, if not better, than the shrimp spring roll. And I would say it's vegan because, I mean, rice paper wrap made out of rice flour, avocado, red cabbage, um, lettuce, carrots, and Vaccine. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. I googled like superfoods and Ramanito are considered as superfoods. Starting off with me cheat code po ako, sorry. Flaxseed. So I had some flaxseed in here, which I think added to the crunch factor. Um, it says here that not only is flaxseed loaded with plant omega-3s, so, usually kasi sa fish oil you may omega-3, but so apparently fat seed has omega-3 as well. It also has more lignans, also known as compounds that may prevent endometrial and ovarian cancer than any other food. Store ground flax seed in any refrigerator and sprinkle on yogurt, cold cereal, oatmeal, or avocado toast. Well, now we know another hack. Hashtag Chef Sarah. Okay, and then collard greens. Collard greens are considered like vegetable. Collard greens are like cabbages. Basically, yung mga gulay na may stem, those are considered as collard greens. So collard greens are exploding with nutrients like vitamin A, zeaxanthin, zeaxanthin, and lutein, which keeps your eyes healthy. Too late, Sarah, you have bad eyes. I really do have bad eyesight. I have like 200 on both eyes and astigmatism. So, God help me. Avocado. The healthy fat in avocado keeps you satisfied and helps you absorb other nutrients. For a new twist, brush a half avocado, cut your move with olive oil and grill for one minute, serve with red onion. Oh, so basically, it's healthy fat. And, well, now you know you can have Avocado spring rolls. Hashtag Chef Sarah. I'm gonna push that. Carrots. Carrots are good for your eyesight. That's what we were all taught to believe um, growing up, and I think they really are. That's what the inside looks like, in case you're wondering. Next up, let's have something sweet first. And we'll start it off with this one! Full disclaimer I actually hate berries. I hate strawberries. I hate blueberries. I hate Greek yogurt. I hate. I hate fruits, but I have them every now and then because I have a very, 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 very sweet tooth. Okay, so in this Greek yogurt, I added strawberries and blueberries and that's about it. Greek yogurt and a little bit of honey. So let's taste it. I haven't had any of these. Mmm! 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 Not that. The Greek yogurt isn't. Okay, there it is. Acid. 
here. But it's not bad at all. Because the fruits are easy to them. And then yung feeling na when you eat strawberries or blueberries or yung mga ganon klase yung fruit, yung mga citrusy fruit. When you eat them, parang napaka... Ano ba? I don't know the word. Um, hindi siya maasing yun. Basta mapapaganon ka. Let me know what that word is. I don't know if it's because I bought the fruit and the Greek yogurt separately and I combined them, but the fruit aspect of this dish is not bad at all. It's sweet, yeah, actually. Mm. Greek yogurt has twice the protein of regular yogurt. Oh, okay! Okay, 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 okay! This has good protein, huh? I don't think it's plant protein, though. But that's cool. Hmm. Blueberries. Blueberries improve memory by protecting your brain from inflammation and boosting communication between brain cells. Okay, I'll eat more blueberries from that one. I did not know that. Maybe that's gonna help me with my test in the future. Mm -hmm. Now for strawberries. Strawberries are loaded with allergy tannins high though chemicals that may halt the growth of cervical and colon cancer. Okay, so we have here something that helps us fight cancer, something that helps us with the memory, and it has twice the amount of protein as regular yogurt. That's interesting. I think the honey helps it not taste so tangy. Now on to more fruits. We have here um, peanut butter, bananas, apples, and kiwis. And of course, they're also part of the superfood. Apples contain quercetin, an antioxidant that reduces your risk of lung cancer. An apple a day keeps the lung cancer away. Yes. Hmm. Uh oh. Kiwi. Italian researchers found kiwi reduces asthma-related wheezing thanks to its high vitamin C content. One kiwi has 110% of your daily requirement. Wow! But I guess it's the same with oranges, right? But I guess if you think about it, instead of buying a lot of oranges, just buy one kiwi and then you're good to go. Hmm, that's good. I love you guys. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say something. This is the first time ever I'm eating kiwi. Oh wait, no, I it had kiwi in Japan. But this is the first time I'm having kiwi from scratch. Mmm! I don't know how to describe it. It's like if an apple and an orange had a baby. No wonder it has high vitamin C. Bananas! Bananas are loaded with several good-for-you fiber, including resistant starch, which helps you slim down. What? Really now? Also, I heard that banana is loaded with potassium. So in case you're having muscle soreness, you should grab a banana. Okay. And then peanut butter. The peanut butter has arginine. Arginine or arginine, an amino acid that helps keep blood vessels healthy. All right, no wonder Erwin Yusuf likes peanut butter over Nutella. Now I like peanut butter over Nutella too. Nah, I'm just kidding. I still like Nutella over peanut butter. My veggie taco. Yeah, actually, I think they're considered as vegan, but yes. So I basically crush the mushroom, the walnuts, and the cauliflower, use the food processor to mush them up, then place them in the container, and then I put in all the spices, mix up the spices, and I toss it in the oven. That's it. The tortillas are store-bought, and of course the vegetables are fresh. So, there. Okay, now, time to take a bite out of my taco. This is my favorite. I learned how to make this just last week. Mm. And I can't get enough. I'm 
Naya Beth Henning. It's so good. <laughs> Cauliflower. Okay, it's packed with cancer-fighting glucose simulates. Wow, I did not know that. I always just saw cauliflower as like a low-carb alternate to rice. I used to eat it when I, when I was on the ketogenic diet, so that was very good for me because it was low-carb and low-carb, so yep. Walnuts. Just 14 walnut halves or seven holes, um, provide more than twice your daily dose of alpha linolenic acid, an omega-3 fat that's been shown to improve memory and coordination. Wow. So we have the flaxseed for omega-3 and of course the walnuts for omega-3. I guess you don't need fish oil, huh? Okay, you know what? If I could rank all of the food that I made, it has to be this. Okay, I'm torn between the avocado cereal because this came off as a huge surprise for me. You know what? These two are a tie. The tacos and the avocado spring roll are a tie. Um, and then... They're all good! I mean, I wouldn't suggest you make everything in one sitting. Okay. Sweet potato fries. This would be good for if you're at home and you want to watch a movie and you just want something to nibble on. This is a good snack to have for that occasion. Spring roll. That also works. You could easily make this in the morning and bring it to work and you would be happy at work. Tacos. Dinner. With the fam bam. Taco Tuesday. Need I say more? And then the fruits are honestly good for breakfast. You could have this for breakfast and even the banana, apple, peanut butter for breakfast or even a snack or the cake as well for a snack. And of course, milk tea boba. It's really weird that they call their milk tea here in the States boba milk tea because as a Filipino, I feel like they're always calling their milk tea stupid. Alright guys, so that's it for my mukbang video. I know it was kind of lame. I probably talked too much than I ate. I don't know. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I just googled what I should be doing. And yeah. I hope this video is informative for you. For the words I wasn't able to pronounce properly, I'll just type it all over in this area. And um... Yeah, I hope you guys try out the dishes that I made or eat the dishes that I made or remember how good they are for you. Wait, disclaimer, disclaimer. I want to say I'm sorry if I didn't eat the food because it's a lot of food. Even if I think everything is less than 2,000 calories, I can't, I can't eat 2,000 calories in one sitting. I probably have to spread it throughout my day. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then Honestly, I would like to know how I can make it better. So leave a comment down below on how you think I can make my video better or what you loved about it. And I guess that's it. Just follow me on all my social media accounts. Let me know what other videos you want to see from me. And I'll see you guys next time. So, bye!